Indianapolis Animal Care Services is now suspending animal intake after one of their dogs unexpectedly died. Testing is happening right now to see what caused the death. Right now, the shelter is also focusing on caring for all the animals they already have. Fox 59's Hannah Fullman takes us to the shelter now with a look at how the staff is handling this illness. I was at this shelter exactly 11 months ago for a deadly outbreak of strep zoo. But now, about a year later, there is something else going around and the shelter is not ruling out that deadly illness. It's still a mystery as to why one of the stray dogs recently brought in suddenly passed away. But the possibility of strep zoo, a respiratory illness found in dogs and sometimes cats, is one of the possibilities. A lot of times it comes up because the shelters are overcrowded and bacteria and diseases are easier to spread when there's more animals in a certain location. So while we haven't ruled that yes, this is strep zoo, we haven't ruled it out. City leaders tell us the dog died less than a week ago, shortly after arriving. The shelter recently sent samples out for testing to see what happened. The offsite laboratory is testing for several different things, several different viruses, bacteria, because we're not sure what it could be. So we're checking for multiple uh, viruses just to see what it could be and then going from there. The test results should be back by the end of the week. In the meantime, IACS is limiting animal intake to an emergency only basis. We aren't sure what it is because it came on so suddenly. The great news is that no other dogs, no other animals are showing any signs of any symptoms right now. So it very could well be just a freak isolated incident. But if this is not a freak isolated incident, the shelter has a treatment plan ready. Test results, you know, if it is a certain bacteria, if it is a certain virus, if it is something and not isolated, we can treat all the dogs with antibiotics. We can give them quarantine space. This incident also comes less than two weeks after someone brought a litter of 10 puppies to the shelter with Parvo. Unfortunately, all 10 puppies had to be euthanized. There is definitely a lot going on at the shelter and a lot of it um, sadly does have to do with overcrowding. There's just there's a lot of animals out there and a lot of people don't know what to do with them and they take them to us. Right now, IACS is home to 162 dogs and 43 cats, which city leaders say is way over capacity. That's why they are encouraging more people to adopt. You know, you get to have a companion for you, your family, your children. You get to make an animal's life so much more happier and so much more fulfilling. While the shelter is limiting animal intake, you can still adopt dogs like Bart and Homer. For now, reporting at the shelter, I'm Hannah Fulmer.